what's up again YouTube dinosaur fans model builders incline here back again this time with the 124th scale Spinosaurus again by Pegasus I was so impressed with their Triceratops that I ended up getting this and the cool thing uh, I looked all over the place online anywhere between sixty to eighty dollars for this kit I just so happened to be shopping around on Amazon uh, late one night found it for twenty bucks uh, with six dollars shipping uh, so yeah I was able to pick this awesome kit up for twenty six bucks on Amazon but it it switches like literally an hour later it was back up to seventy dollars uh, you know you get your uh, description here in the box um, I like this scene particularly I was recently watching a documentary where they found I believe it was either a, a Spinosaurus tooth lodged in a, a fish fossil or vice versa. Um, so this whole scene uh, that's depicted on here is really cool. I'd really like to uh, be able to expand on the diorama aspect of it uh, because what it does come with as far as your base goes um, it's like that but it would be really cool to be able to expand a little further well, we'll see. You kind of need to put a big old huge, you know, something coming out of the water. A Mosasaur. Get that, get that revenge from Jurassic Park 3. Alright, let's open this up. I'll show you what you got. Okay, so, yeah, just like the uh, Triceratops and their Tyrannosaurus um, vinyl pieces that peg together. The uh, best way to do this is get a hair dryer. Um, heat, heat up both sides and that way you can... I'll push it in real nice and easy and then you'll have to do a little bit of filling in around the scales if there's any kind of gaps or something. I use some super glue, you can use super glue with baby powder or um, I also like to use the Aves Epoxy Sculpt which I started using on my guy there. Uh, so yeah, I'll get these pieces out. Here it is, all unpackaged. I am super stoked about this. This thing is going to be huge. A really awesome display piece. Uh, the detail and the sculpt work is uh, just really, really well done. This is the fish. Whatever. Um, so it's fins and it's jaw come in its own little bag. And then you got the uh, um, it's on the little tree there. That looks to be one of Spinosaurus's, uh, Spinosaurus's toes, maybe? Yeah, the Duke all there. Uh, <laughs> well, would you know it, everything on this kit slides and fits in perfectly. Uh, the Triceratops, I had to use a hairdryer. So this kit, literally, if you just had a little bit of glue, you could have it assembled in like five minutes, max. Then the uh, fun part would be all the painting. So yeah, let's see what this guy looks like put together. So this actually took a little bit longer, about 10 minutes, uh, just because I wanted the glue to dry and stuff for the pieces together. But yeah, this thing is looking delish. Got to fill in a few gaps, but other than that, this thing is nice and huge and detailed and will look fantastic when it's all painted up. Um, I guess for a size comparison, again here is Owen Macklin Star-Lord. So, not in scale at all with the Marvel Legends, but pretty okay for your G.I. Joe 3 3 quarter scale type of figures you know nice and scary cool well I'll have a video up once this thing's painted eventually and uh, stuff but yeah if you're looking for a really cool Spinosaurus model uh, this is definitely one of them